Hi, and welcome to Solo Jazz Music Series with Arlie Leonard. And uh, when somebody comes on, I want to find out if you can hear me. This is, uh, huh, I feel like uh, getting a, um, a filter because I ain't got no makeup on. <laughs> Anybody else have time management issues? Hey, whoever's there, Jerry, can you hear me okay? Because the microphone is, I don't have a way of, uh, I, I'm using my iPad to hopefully not get bumped off of the um, very slow DSL that I have here today. So I'm, I'm on my iPad from the beginning, but I don't have it elevated to um, have the microphone clear, but you can hear me okay? Okay, I hope so. Um, all right, love. So, Arlie Leonard here. Thank you for joining me for uh, this edition of Solo Jazz Music Series. It is Sunday, what's today? February 28th, the last day of February, Black History Month. I hope you learned something this month, maybe, that you didn't know. I unexpectedly spent my afternoon writing a two hour, two hours writing an essay after opening an article on the, uh, missing black superstars of the early music, the blues women from the early time in this country, the first recording by a blues artist, by a black woman was a blues song in 1920, August 10th, 1920, the great Mamie Smith, um, the queen of the blues. And of course we have Ma Rainey, the, the mother of the blues and Bessie Smith, the most successful woman of the time, the queen of the blues. And I unexpectedly spent a couple of hours writing an essay, so I ain't made up, my nails ain't cleaned up, and I'm not fully warmed up. But it is showtime, and uh, and if I thought about it sooner, I could have put together a whole program of blues. But um, we're just going to have some fun, do some songs, and uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, um, they could make a good story prompt. Um, feel free to put them in the chat. Let me know you're here. Say hi. Uh, invite your friends. We're going to be here for an hour and uh, making some music and uh, perhaps telling some tales. <laughs> so once again, thanks for being here. -la 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 -la. And hi, Harvey. Hi, Danny. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so you guys check out that essay. I just posted it on my Facebook page. And um, let's go ahead and jump into a song. Um, I got a chance to run a few things last night, but then I was chickening out on a couple of them. I'm like, I need to practice more. <laughs> uh, but let's see what we've got for you. Um, let's start with, let's start with something I've sung a lot. Um, a fun song by the great Bobby I don't even say Herb or Herb. Sorry, I gotta see something over here on my computer. The great Bobby Herb. And uh, he passed away, I think, just a couple of years ago. But he wrote a great song called Sunny. And um, it's it's very popular song and, uh, and it's got a lovely message. I hope you enjoy. Let's just take a look, last four. All right, I'm using my iReal app. <laughs> me and the music in a good balance. Okay. Sunny, yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sunny, smiled at me and really eased the pain. The dark days are done and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. 
reasons to feel challenged. There's plenty of challenges that are real. And we also have the opportunity to be joyful, to celebrate, to be in the moment. concert or maybe not the first but the first one in the winter by day I realized I was like oh yeah it's not gonna be a nighttime ambiance we're gonna have a some daytime vibe going on here um, so thank you again hi Justin hi niece and nephew if you guys are here oh so great hi babies auntie loves you I miss you <laughs> oh, so great um, put put a note in the chat so I know you're here say hi if you have any requests Throw it out there. If I can, I will. And just spontaneously, I'm going to sing a little bit. I don't really know the song, but just a little bit of a Billie Holiday uh, song just popped into my head since I was talking about those blues women. Lady B Lady Day sang a song called Lady Sings the Blues. And I don't know how much. Uh, everybody says hi back. Yay, thank you. Lady Sings the Blues. She got them bad she feels so sad wants the world to know just what her blues is all about the blues ain't nothing but a pain in your heart and when you got a bad start when you and your man have to part, I ain't gonna just sit around and cry. Cause I know I won't die. Cause I love him. something up. <laughs> I just know that I can feel all right if I lay down. Oh, 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 oh my blues and sing a song. I know Spontaneous creation. I should do more of that too because that is one way I create songs is in the moment. I just make stuff up. I have a fun habit with um, when it's friends' birthdays. I'll give them a call and I'll make up a song on the spot for them. Uh, if they don't answer, I'll just leave it on their voicemail. And, and as far as my memory goes, they're just ephemeral, like gone. And some of them have been really good. <laughs> but what I appreciate and what I give thanks for is that that spontaneous creation, you know, not like that was great art, whatever, but the spontaneous creation comes through. And that's true for all of us, I suppose, if we allow ourselves to be in a moment of quiet, in a moment of creation, and just kind of trust what's going to come. Like this whole concert tonight is a moment of of trust and spontaneity. I've, I've worked on a few songs in the wee hours of the morning and uh, and I've already diverged from that. So let's see who else is here. Diane, hi Diane, welcome. Sounding good, thank you, sweetie. The real deal, she says. Mwah. I appreciate the family support today. Really wonderful that y'all are here. Hit the share button, invite some friends. And let's jump into another song. Um, how about a jazz classic, You'd Go To My Head? Really sweet song. 
Um, the kids, actually something for the kids. Let's see. What's something I didn't... Kids, you got any requests? <laughs> this little light of mine. I need a different key. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. You guys know that one? Sing with me. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. I'm gonna let it shine. Whoa. Everywhere I go. Whoa. I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, oh, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, whoa, whoa. play with my friends, playing with my friends, yeah, I'm gonna let it shine, well, playing with my friends, oh, I'm gonna let it shine, playing with my friends, well, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Anybody got one? Diane is back. Let's see. Um, let's see. What's a good one? Well, marching for freedom. Marching for freedom. I'm gonna let it shine. Well, marching for freedom. I'm gonna let shine marching for freedom i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine well yeah this little light mm. this little light of mine yeah let it shine i'm gonna let it shine well this little light of mine well i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, whoa, whoa, whoa. let it shine, oh, oh, oh. let it shine, Woo. <laughs> For my niece and nephew, I know you guys know that one. I hope you all sang along. And uh, let's go ahead and do the song I mentioned, You Go to My Head. And if anybody has any comments or questions, throw them in the chat. Let me know you're here. Say hi. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts on your head. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay again because my mic is not elevated, but I can't I'm using my iPad and I don't, you know what, maybe I can elevate it with a pair of scissors or something. Let's see. I don't know if this will help, but I just want to try to make sure you guys can hear me. The microphone is right under there. I don't want to mess up my keys on my keyboard. Oh, tricky, tricky. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me fine. All right, y'all. Um, so you go to my head. Let's give it a shot here with the iReal app. <laughs> ah, all right, let's do that. Thanks again for being here. And if you'd like to make a contribution, support, the, uh, support my solvency and sanity, you can make a contribution. I put uh, PayPal and Venmo information in the description, so you can check that out. And, Always welcome and, and gratefully received. Giving it a little bossa nova flavor.
like the bubbles in a glass of champagne. You go to my head like a sip of sparkling burgundy brew, and I find the very mention of you like the kicker in a julep for two. The thrill of the thought that you might. Sunday in Brooklyn, New York. Where are y'all coming in from? Anybody want to put in the chat where you're coming in from? Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Jerry, I saw your face fly up there with the little likes, honey. Thank you very much. And um, Jerry was one of, uh, well, actually all of you here so far that I know are here were um, supporters during my kitchen concert series. Now I'm not in my kitchen anymore. I'm in my uh, little home office where I do my coaching and now my singing and a lot of training and a lot of Zoom time, baby. Anybody else living the Zoom life these days? <laughs> There's a whole lot of Zooming going on. I've been on Zoom for meh, two or three years uh, at least in trainings and so it wasn't a, a, a switch for me, but the amount of time I'm on Zoom has increased exponentially with um, everything that I'm working on building and all the different things I'm learning, putting that entrepreneurial hat on to get uh, get a couple of businesses more fully launched. Um, one in a health and wellness company and one with my coaching and it all goes together so beautifully because if I'm gonna be on stage at Carnegie Hall, one, I wanna make sure I'm healthy AF. <laughs> I want to support other women to be healthy, happy, financially free, and doing their great work in the world, making their unique contribution. You know, the world needs enlivened and awakened women moving forward. You know, we are here and we've got beautiful contributions to make. I'm going to um, take a big chance and try. Uh, for the first time, a lot of the songs that I'm doing tonight were requests during the Kitchen Concert Series. And I just, you know, reinvigorated uh, going live weekly again on January 30th. So this is my fourth time. And um, a friend of mine, uh, Pat, had requested the song People, the great song from, what is it, Funny Girl, I think, with uh, Barbara Streisand. And I was practicing it in the wee hours of the morn. Didn't get a chance to run it today to check myself before I wreck myself. So we're just going to take a risk and try it. Hopefully it goes well because it's a beautiful song and it would suck to mess it up. <laughs> but I'm also human and I spent eight hours in trainings yesterday. Um, let's see. For other things, trying to find that balance. All right. Going to go make sure I get the right song. Yep. Okay. Going to people. Hope you enjoy and hope I enjoy. <laughs> Beautiful song for Pat and all of us. Thank you. 
know, we do need other people. We need other people to remind us who we are. We need people to show up when we're singing and appreciate our gifts when we share them. We need to be able to be resourced. And that's one of the ways that feminine power, feminine ways of community, of collaboration are gonna change this world. And that's one reason that I'm a female empowerment coach with uh, feminine power training from Claire Zamet, who's got work that has reached millions of women around the world. Millions of women around the world are developing themselves to appreciate their intuition, to appreciate the tenderness inside, to appreciate not having to know the how and figure it all out, but to be on a path towards destiny, towards greatness, towards contribution, towards service, to be actively engaged in meeting the gaps without shame, without isolating, without judging oneself, but to actually like be clear-eyed, to notice where the gaps are, and to be willing to get the training that we need, to be willing to reach out in collaboration versus competition. You know, so much of the Western world has been built powerfully on a masculine linear, make a plan, figure it out, do it, build it, grow it system, which has been beautiful for so much that has been built. And at the same time, so many women, when they entered the workforce, entered it into a man's world and learned how to function in a man's world by the rules of the game as they had been established. And so many successful, powerful, wonderful, beautiful, accomplished women are still finding themselves so unhappy, also running the family more, you know, still out of balance, taking care of the kids more, still out of balance, earning less, still out of balance. You know, we got work to do, y'all. So my soapbox is around race and around women and around creative expression and around soul expression, around really connecting with our soul essence and bringing our truth and our joy and our brilliance out into the world. And we need people for that. And we need to be in our own wholeness without shame. And uh, so this is my message for the day. I need a sip of water. How y'all doing? Anybody wanna throw anything in the chat about that? Any thoughts about any of that? Any amens, any hallelujahs? <laughs> Hi, Alice. Welcome. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for the hearts there. And uh, feel free to share, invite friends. And if you can, please uh, make a contribution. The tip jar is open. And <clears throat> my paypal.me forward slash Arlie Leonard, A-R-L-E-E-L-E-O-N-A-R-D. If for anybody listening and not seeing something, um, paypal.me forward slash Arlie Leonard. And when it pops up, you'll see my middle initial is R. And yes, that is me. And if you have Venmo, it's uh, the at sign R. Lee. And then put the little dash and then my last name, Leonard. Um, so those are a couple of options if you'd like to make a contribution, gratefully received. Let's jump into another song. And if you have any requests, plop them in the chat. And if I can, I will. So let's do, ooh, let's do this one. This is a song, uh, actually, let's see. I only got a chance to run a few things. Um, people make the world go round. I can't remember if that went okay last night in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Let's find out. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's try it. People make the world go round. Anybody remember that song by the Stylistics? That was a fun one. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm not trying to give you some cleavage. I'm just trying to pull up the lyrics. There they are. All right, just in case. I'm going to do that differently next time. <laughs> Using my iPad. So far, I haven't gotten kicked out. That's progress. <clears throat> All right. People make the world go round. Let's try this. I used to sing this song a long time ago. Oh, 
got a fancy guy and they don't care. But that's what makes the world go round, the ups and downs of carousel. Changing people's heads around, go underground, young man. People make perfect after what I was just talking about. I tell you, <laughs> spontaneous creation is a beautiful thing. All right, yeah, let's try uh, a Jobim classic. Should we do that one? Why not? I didn't, I didn't get to, let's, well, anyway, no, no Mickey, excuse me. Uh, let me just double check the key. I just <clears throat> didn't run this one. Let me make sure it's in the right key, and I think it's D, but I want to double check. It's been a while. Oh yeah, no, this is my key good, E flat. All right, y'all, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Um, whoops, yeah, that's good. Eight bar intro, why not? One note samba. <laughs>
better play the note you know. <laughs> One note samba, Antonio Carlos Jobim classic. Who else likes Brazilian music? Who else likes Antonio Carlos Jobim classic? Send up some hearts. I know I do. He's got so many beautiful songs. On my uh, debut CD, Wild Honey, I recorded the song Gingy, which is a beautiful song recorded by some of my faves like Sarah Vaughn and Ella Fitzgerald, great women of jazz. Mm. All right, y'all, how's everybody doing? Y'all are kind of quiet. Anybody want to say hi in the chat? Send up a heart, show some love, send some money, all that good stuff. Let's do, let's do a, a song by, I was gonna say by Buddy Bolden. No, not Buddy Bolden. Um, a song by um, uh, Buddy Johnson. And a uh, quick little story. The first song I ever sang, this isn't this song, but the first song I ever sang with a jazz band, one of the two first songs, I can't remember what the other song was, <clears throat> was, um, since I Fell For You, written by the same guy who wrote Save Your Love For Me, which is a song I'm gonna do. And um, and a quick story, since I call this the Soul Jazz Music Series, Songs and Stories from the Road, um, is um, when I was a kid, I fell in love with, uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, oh, now I can't remember. He had a 45 uh, version on a 45, which is an old record <laughs> for any of you that don't know. We have 33s, which are the big records, and then we had the 45s, which are probably a little bit bigger than a compact disc, if you even know what those are. And um, gosh, I hate that I can't remember his name right now. We're Facebook friends, and he's a gorgeous man to this day, but back in the 60s, I fell in love with his version of Since I Fell For You. And when I was 15, Bonnie Raitt's debut CD came out and she sang the song. And um, my boyfriend at the time had been arrested for armed robbery and his name was Eugene. And uh, he was 17, I was 15, and I had just moved from Detroit, Michigan to Ann Arbor, Michigan with friends to be closer to Eugene. And then he goes and gets in with some bad people and gets himself arrested for armed robbery. And so then I was singing this song again, sobbing to Bonnie Raitt's version, made me leave my happy home, took my love and now you're gone since I fell for Eugene. <laughs> Rest in peace, my dear. Um, but this song, Save Your Love For Me, was um, recorded by Nancy Wilson and Cannonball Adderley on a beautiful uh, compilation um, of music from the two of them and um, written by Buddy Johnson and I think originally recorded by his sister Ella Johnson and uh, so Black History Month kind of one of our early composers of, uh, of music um, from uh, African American community there are many greats of course including the wonderful Duke Ellington and his co-writers uh, so let's go ahead and give this a try with my iReal app. Hope you enjoy. Buddy Johnson, Save Your Love For Me. And Nancy Wilson, great artist. If you don't know her, check her out. Met her a few times. Wish I knew
remembered the name of the singer, Lenny Welch. Anybody remember Lenny Welch? As far as I know, he's uh, last I heard, he was still alive and well on Facebook. Handsome as ever. Oh, Jerry, you never heard that one before. Oh, wow. Yeah, beautiful song, beautiful song. And what's so funny about Since I Fell For You is, uh, you know, as an adult, I noticed that there's some characteristics around love that I, uh, I used to say my only, I'm grateful with my crazy childhood and all of the different things I was exposed to as a kid with my musician counterculture parents. I mean, I was in there with the adults doing all kinds of things um, that children normally wouldn't be doing. And as an adult, I, I used to say in my 20s, I think I used to say, well, really grateful, you know, that I'm not, I don't have an addictive personality. My only uh, addictions are love and chocolate chip cookies. Well, we have programs for both of those. <laughs> and when I thought about it and learned more about love addiction and codependence and all these kinds of things, I laughed and I was like, man, I was in love with Since I Fell For You, you know, that song, Since I Fell For You, when I was nine. Was I a love addict? Like, was I born a love addict? Actually, I was born a love angel, I think. My mom uh, would agree. My first words, like, she told me the other night before I was, I think I was about eight months old. I, my first words were sentence. And that sentence was, I owe, I owe, I love you. <sighs> That's who I was born to be. And sometimes it can get a little twisted around relationships, but we just keep learning and growing as we take this journey of life. And uh, all right, let's see what time it is. Oh, time for maybe one or two more. Um, speaking of love and relationships and all that stuff, I kind of picked a bunch of, you know, sweeter songs in the wee hours of this morning. And, uh, this one is from Cabaret, uh, so sung in the movie by Liza Minnelli. And actually, it kind of segues again. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's called Maybe This Time. And um, <clears throat> hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait, let me make sure bring up the words just in case I have a brain fart. I like to have a little backup. All right, y'all. Thanks again for being here with the Solo Jazz Music Series. My name is Arlie Leonard, and uh, really grateful you tuned in. Uh, songs and stories from the road. I could tell travel tales. I could tell personal stories. I can, you know, drop philosophy and coaching advice. <laughs> I just never know. You just never know. And I'm um, just so glad you're here. Thank you for listening and hope that you're gaining value from being here. And if you would be so kind, please be sure to make a contribution. Um, the information is in the um, description. And uh, let's try this song. I learned this when I was out on a cruise ship gig. Or no, maybe, oh no, I learned it in New Orleans. A friend of mine, a trombone player, uh, introduced me to this song. And then I sang it on the cruise ship, my one cruise ship engagement back in 2017 all over the Mediterranean on a fancy luxury cruise liner. Maybe this time.
practice, let's try the B section. Let's see what happens. Oh, come here, you. Sorry, you guys. Yes, we got this. Thank you very much. Everybody loves a winner, so nobody loves. enjoyed and uh, nice show Harvey says thank you Harvey thank you for being here we're gonna do one more song I think we might end on a gospel swing low sweet chariot um, in honor of how far we've come as uh, as people in this country and around the world and knowing how far we still have to go with uh, social justice, racial justice, women's empowerment, and so much more. But this is a song uh, that has been well sung, especially, you know, in the African American tradition and uh, written back in 1917. Hope you enjoy. Oh, one of your favorites, Oh, oh, you mean the last song. Thank you, Diane. She says a lovely re rendition. Um, all right. So, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Hope you enjoy it. Love and blessings again. Thank you for being here. And I guess we'll close with this. And on to Women's History Month. Woo! Black History to Women's History. Kind of got the swing version.
So, thank you again for being here. One hour. Let me know in the chat if you prefer Saturday night at 7 p.m. or this Sunday slot at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, I think, you know, sometimes it might just depend on what's going on, but maybe I'll switch between the two. So that could get a little confusing. So be sure to visit me at facebook.com forward slash Arlie Leonard to, um, to, uh, look for the events and make sure which which one it's going to be but um until we're back out there on the road and playing live it's my uh, intention to keep doing these weekly shows partly because the contributions are very helpful so if you would uh, please make a contribution to my face uh, my facebook my paypal or venmo or if you need another way if you need an address for a check or something uh, you can message me let me know your contributions are gratefully accepted and um, and put to very good basic fundamental use. <laughs> and uh, and if you'd like to visit my website, um, I need to update it, but there's videos and fun things on there, um, arleleonard.com. I don't do much with it, but there's some information there and a lot of videos, or you can go to YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. I know lots of information, lots of options. You can go to YouTube and subscribe to my page. Then in the future, we'll be going live on YouTube. That'll be fun. And uh, women, if you're interested in coaching, I have some openings for four uh, women who would be interested in going through uh, Claire Zamet's seven-week course, The Feminine Power Essential Course for the Awakening Woman. And I, as a, as a um, feminine power coach in training with, with feminine power, I can offer four more women the opportunity to have full access to that course and one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for a special price. Um, and so if you'd like more information about that, I'll put some, uh, I'll put a Calendly link in the chat and you can also uh, go to my uh, Fearless Vocal Expression Sisterhood. It's a Facebook group, uh, Fearless Vocal Expression. And also, last announcement, all of the concerts that I do online are stored in another Facebook group, so they're easy to find, and you can go back to all of the 31 kitchen concerts I did, or the uh, most recent concerts, in the Facebook group called Kitchen Concert and Conversation Series with Arlie Leonard, and I added, and solo jazz music. Uh, so the solo jazz music series with Arlie Leonard, songs and stories from the road. We thank you, the royal we. <laughs> thank you for being here, thank you for tuning in. Um, I should know next weekend what I'm going to do. Let me just take a quick look at the sketch and make a decision <clears throat> so that we can get that heads up right now. Um, yeah, let's do Saturday night next week. Saturday night at 7 p.m. And then in general, just let me know if you prefer Sunday at 5 or Saturdays at 7 Eastern. Much love, many blessings, many thanks. Be good to yourself and the people that you love. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks and good night. Oh, Diane says Sunday at 5 is perfect for her. Ooh. Okay, well, you guys, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. It's not set in stone. Let's do a poll. Put in the chat. When you hear this video, put it in the chat, which you prefer, and uh, we'll decide uh, soon for next weekend, okay? All right. Bye.